Hello everybody and welcome. This is Atomic Zero of Addicted to Loot and this is Total War Warhammer. This is going to be a quick uh, down and dirty video showing at least a highlight unit from the latest Free OC patch which is the Blood Knight. That is this wonderful unit right in front of us. We have numerous helmets, non-helmets, shields, non-shields. We have wonderful gold and red armor on these horses and of course the lances absolutely amazing battle line I mean I do really like the variations in the helmet I mean there is what three types if you count non helmet like this lovely chap over here who really just doesn't give a damn apparently uh, there is some variation in the shield you got some white shields red shields so on and so forth Blood Dragons are one of the more asked for units in the forums, like along with Squigs, probably one of the most popular ones. But the super cool unit, gonna see them in action really, really, really soon. Blood Dragons are a really cool vampire count unit. They are actually a sect of vampire counts that have actually have killed some kind of massive monster, whether it's a dragon, which is where they which the founder of the Blood Dragons gets his name from. Uh, they kill this massive monster in an epic battle, they drink its blood, and they actually lose the vampiric thirst for blood. So they're done for the basically the eternity. They're just, they are what they are. They're the most badass fighters in the game, or at least for the vampire counts. And now they're mounted. It would be, I actually think it would be interesting to see them off course, but they have friends, the anti-large armor shield, and there is absolutely tanks. You look at the grave guard compared to them. 110, 110 versus 90, ridiculous charge bonus, and that is it for, uh, we'll go over in more detail, probably in a different video, the exact inner workings of the latest patch, because there is a crap ton of uh, information on that patch. It was at least a 2 gig patch, so there's a lot happening with it. Also, I am also using the latest Blood for the Blood Gods, which is the Blood and Gore uh, DLC. Paid DLC, it is $2.99, $3 basically, uh, $2.99 plus tax, and I'm hoping to try to answer maybe in this battle or maybe in a few other battles whether or not it's really worth it. I'm doing it so that maybe you don't have to. They've um, done some pretty cool things. They said like for the undead units, which is another reason why I'm doing the vampire counts, that they could actually still walk, especially the zombies, like if they are missing a limb if they are you know got decapitated if they're missing an arm or a leg or something like that they still try to move like they can still keep going but they put on decapitations they put on dismemberments tons of blood however the main reason why i'm still hesitant on the mod or the uh, mod the dlc is there's it's not kill animated it's not one-on-one -on -one combat it's not you just kind of have your same standard swing animation and then you just have a spurt of blood and occasionally something flying off. It's not like the guy does a finishing move, he throws him in the air, chops his head off, pulls his arm off, anything else like that. It's just, uh, it's blood. And it's it's a lot of splatter. It's, it's basically someone threw, threw up a bunch of red paint on the battlefield. But we'll show you that in a second while we get into this. Alrighty. I don't have a huge battle line here, but... I equally group them up with, we're going against some, going against some, uh, oh my god, Empire units. I'm just going to try to get some nice flanking charges off. I want to show, because they're, they do have, uh, they don't have any range, so I can actually just come right up. Uh, you can also come up. I don't care if you guys die. It's sad, but it's true. Magic has blood effects. Major units have blood effects. So that's why I got the zombie dragon and terror geist. Uh, also got the varg ice. Got some crypt horrors. All sorts of fun stuff. And everyone should be moving. Or should be should be moving. Should be running. I should say. Okay, they're going to form up around us, but once I get my... I'm probably going to engage my front line just to hold them there, and then I'll flank with my Blood Knights just because. 
And then we'll show off the blood effects on the charge animation. We'll show off the blood effects. Um, you know what? Let's see. First the ears. Wind, wind of death. How about we, we show off a wind of death? Oh. So you see, there's a, a so, look. There's a little bit of blood splatter there. Some people are dead. Not a major. Not a lot happening there, but we'll see if we have. Oh wait, this is a magic missile, isn't it? Yeah. Eh, okay, well, we're just gonna have to charge him in. Well, 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 stop it. You and you just charge in. We'll just get these guys engaged. Let's just see what happens. Is the... Okay, so like I said, you see the blood splatter. It's a little bit more graphic. I mean, it's definitely. I mean, they're saying like it's making the M rated. But it look at it. I mean, it's just kind of flying around just to fly around. It's not exactly. I don't think it's doing anything super worthwhile. It really is just an addition to normal hits. On some of the like cool kill animations, if we see one here, like if they grab one, if they bite one, it throws more blood around, and actually the units will get covered in blood as they start to kill things, but Okay. Why are you guys Okay, you and you come over here. You and you. Oh. I was gonna say they can't come out. Why can't you guys? Oh, just charge in. Okay, you know what? We're gonna pick one. We're gonna zoom in. Woo, that is zooming in. Okay. Go kill my pretties. Okay. I don't know why we have this weird angle, but it's not terrible. So now we'll see a little bit more blood. See, it explodes. The Varg Heist is now covered in some blood, but still, once again, nothing major. I'll just get them involved. Go kill. Everyone have some fun. You go eat things. Let's zoom in here on our Terragate, or our Varkais. See, there's a lot of exploding blood. He's covered in it. He looks cool. He looks like he's having fun. But once again, no kill animations. And I've watched one or two other uh, YouTubers with this mod showing it off in a similar manner, actually. And it just, like, it just, I'm just not super wild. It's... It's not like they gave me what I would want. I mean, if they gave me kill animations, oh, that'd be sweet. Let's see some infantry on infantry action here. If they can find a unit that's not fleeing. Um, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Is there anyone that's not fleeing? Yes, okay, those guys aren't fleeing. Ghost. 
I just want to get some melee on melee. Uh, we'll just go over here. Maybe get some... A better look at some blood. Oh, really? See, like, that guy? He, well, he got sliced, but... Wasn't really a dismemberment. Come on. Darn it. Okay, well, you might as well just clean up. Um, unit on unit, there's slightly more to be seen. But... I don't know. It's... I think it adds a little bit to the visuals. I mean, it's definitely Warhammer-like. I mean, it's just, like, exploding blood and guts and everything else. So, yeah, that's definitely Warhammer-like. How does everyone just... Closest one to get there. Oh. Where is it? Are they already out of out of bounds already? Go kill. I just want to get a nice little charge, hopefully. Come on, hit them, hit them, hit them. Hit it before the barrier. Dun, 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 dun. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Lance is down, Lance is down. There you go. See, that was just like a full-on rear charge. Not a whole lot of death. Or not a whole lot of blood, I should say. That guy had his arm taken off. So did that guy. Not really sure how I'll land. Eh, I guess I can see how I'll land. could take an arm off. But that's really a close look at the blood and guts. Also look at the blood knights. But I'm definitely excited to use the blood knights. I'm not sure if this is save game compatible. I might give an update on that when I do my uh, vampire count let's play. Oh, or any one of my other let's plays really to see if these are compatible. But until then, I hope this has been a little bit more helpful if you want to check out the mod or look, I keep on calling it a mod, the DLC. Uh, as of right now, as of what I've seen, and this is purely just preliminary, preliminary, I'll have to probably update that maybe after I do a few of my Let's Play episodes. I would say it's probably not super worth the $2.99, but it all depends on how much you like random blood. Uh, it's not like it was the Blood and Gore pack added to Attila or Rome 2. I think those were far better. This is kind of lackluster. But once again, personal opinions, personal takes, but uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone else wasting the money. So, thank you for joining me. I have been Atomic Zero Predicted the Loot. Please drop a like, comment, or even better, please subscribe. Until next time, thank you for joining me.